All right, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today, what I got in store is something pretty sweet today. A Magic the Gathering booster pack from the Classic 6th Edition. It says Classic right on there. This is 15 additional cards. It's got the advanced level on the bottom right. Got the mana symbols down here. You got the blue, black, red, green, and white. And uh, looks like you got some sort of goblin creature on the front holding a big axe with interesting kind of hair or maybe that's like his cape going on magic the gathering green interesting green shiny uh foiling edges really like this pack look magic the gathering in this strategy game you play with decks of illustrated cards instead of a board these collectible cards represent magical spells and fantastic creatures if you haven't played magic before look at the starter level uh magic the gathering trading card game Magic designed by Richard Garfield, rulebook not included. You got the starter level, the advanced, and the expert. This is on the advanced level. You got the serial number, Wizard of the Coast 6534. This is, uh, let's just see the date on this. Wow, this is an older pack for sure. When did 6th edition come out? Looks like uh, 1999, before 2000, quite a while ago. This one is over like 20 years old. Can you believe it? Or right on the cusp of it crazy wizards of the coast p.o box 707 rented wa cool so let's just open this up see what it's about and hopefully we'll get some really cool cards and have a trip down memory lane wow this is definitely an older pack and so much fun to open got the white border going on right here looks like i got a card right off the bat called marble diamond got the uncommon up front marble diamond two generic Marble Diamond comes into play tapped, tap, and white tier mana pool. Looks like some sort of talisman with like energy emitting from it. Got like some sort of leather rope around it. Interesting background, some like speckling on it. Almost looks a little wet. It's an artifact from 6th edition, the VI for 6, illustrated by Jeff Miracola. 1999, 1993 to 1999, Wizard of the Coast. 298 by 350. Cool. Marble Diamond. I'm not sure how these packs work. It looks like it's going to be uncommon and possibly the rare, but I'm just going to go with it. Next card I got is Relearn. One and two blue. You got some chemist sitting out inside of his laboratory. Got an interesting kind of weight, and I wonder what happens. The candle burns, and then the weight slowly becomes lighter and lighter, and this side rises up. Very interesting. Almost like a Rube Goldberg effect. Some uh, sort of vials. This one looks like a volcano is exploding from it. Some fire and energy is coming out from it. And very nice detail work on his face. One and two blue. Sorcery. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. So return it to your hand. Baron taught me that the hardest lesson to grasp are the ones you already learned. Very true. And this is drawn by Zena Saunders. Beautiful art. Next card I got is Perish. I know this card. Uh, destroy all green creatures. They can't be regenerated. This is two and a black. Looks like this poor elf lady. Just got perished. You got the, the land right there, a stream going on, some of the sun going through the branches. Really nice depth, interesting watercolors. And this poor lady just passed out and died in the forest. Very sad. By Rebecca Guai. There will come a time when the voices of soil and seedlings will sing only laments. Interesting. And it looks like the rare I got is Polymorph. Three and a blue. Got some creature. It's like some rabbit turning into some sort of Frankenstein monster. He's gotten green arms. He's looking at his arms. He's starting to scream because he doesn't know what's happening. He's going through puberty and it's scaring him. Got the blue in the background. Really nice kind of sponge effect. Destroy target creature. Interesting. It can't be regenerated. A controller reveals a card from the top of his or her library until a creature card is revealed. That player puts a card into play and shuffles all other revealed cards into his library. Ah, opposable digits. Uh, by Robert Bliss. Interesting. There's not many blue cards that destroy a creature that I can think of off the top of my head. And this is three and a blue. Destroy a creature. It's controller. So you can destroy your own creature if you want. And uh, then you just put the next creature you have in your library into play. Very interesting card. Awesome. So that is the rare I got. Next card I got is a scaled worm. Seven and a green. Looks like some sort of snowy worm hanging out. Really nice scales on it. Some purple and red accents on his uh, back yellowish kind of horns interesting little beak on it it's a worm but it almost looks dragon like a seven and a green it's a seven six creature worm just a big guy next card i got is siphon soul 
Two and a black sorcery. Siphon soul deals two damage to each other player. You gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. So two damage to each other player. If you got multiple opponents, you do more damage and you gain more life. You got some mana symbols up there. Looks like this sorcerer. Really large eyes. Some interesting text around his uh, hood. Really long fingernails as well. Got people trapped inside these orbs. You got a red, a green, and a blue orb. And you can see the faces in there. And he's just carrying them along. Maybe trying to trade them or something like that. This is drawn by Melissa A. Benson. Nice. Next card I got is Semiot Healer. One in a white. Creature Clerk. Tap. Prevent the next one damage to target creature or player. So 1-1. One, one, prevent that damage. He's a healer. Got all of his medicines. Burning his sage. And he's healing this poor sickly person on the bed right there. His head is way bigger than his head. Very interesting. This is drawn by Tom Wanderstein. Next card I got is a Fog Elemental. You can see, hanging out in the forest. This cloud's going through, but this isn't a regular cloud. It's got eyes and nose and a mouth. Got some trees in the foreground, and you just see this fog floating through. Two and a blue, creature element flying. When fog elemental attacks or blocks, sacrifice at the end of combat. It's a form four. I've seen fog so thick, you could cut it, but none that could cut me. So this fog, it can attack or block, but when it's done, you gotta sacrifice it. Three for a four, four for one one attack. Really cool right here. Uh, who, who drew this, by the way? This was drawn by... John J. Muth. Next card I got is Flame Spirit. Four and a red. Got this kind of flame guy, completely made of fire. Looks like he's being born from a volcano. He's got abs. He's got uh, like just flame emitting everywhere. Is he fire or is the fire from him? And yeah, it just looks like he's living in a volcano. It's a creature spirit. You pay red. It gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. The spirit of the flame is the spirit of change. So two, three, four and a red. And that's very true. Uh, this is drawn by Justin Hampton. Beautiful art, really vibrant colors in here. Next card I got looks like the poor woman who passed away from Parish. Is this drawn by the same person? And it is. I honestly think this is the same lady. She was hanging out by the stream in this picture. Then two seconds later, all the trees and everything died. And this poor lady perished right there on the spot. That's crazy. Same artist. That is definitely the same woman. Rest in peace. This is Elven Catch, two and two green. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Return whatever card you want from your graveyard to your hand. Planeswalker, land, whatever you want. Return it to your hand at sorcery speed. Elves know where to harvest the best of the forest, for they planted it there themselves. Right on. This is again drawn by Rekka Gwai. Sorcery, awesome. Six edition right there. Next card I got is Dry Spell. I remember this card. Um, one and a black dry spell does one damage to each creature and each player. Just a damage to each creature and each player. Playing him off the board. This poor fish had a dry spell. Got the desert drying up behind it. All of his bones right there. Doesn't look like an animal ate it. Just looks like he literally disintegrated away. If an animal ate it, the bones would be disturbed. Nice cracked ground behind him as well. Beautiful art. Wherever water is lacking, all things suffer. Very true by Brian Snooty. Lovely art as well. Just absolutely lovely. Love the colors, love the depth. Very orange, and the ground looks very real. Next card I got is a Circle of Protection. Circle of Protection, green. Beautiful, got like this sort of wreath or something on the ground. The forest is spinning on these leaves, protecting it. Beautiful kind of yellow light in the background. You can just see the road in the forest. Where does it lead to? Nobody knows, but somewhere awesome. One in a white enchantment. The next time a green source of your choice will deal damage to you, this turn prevent that damage. So if a green creature is attacking you, Pay one, it doesn't do any damage. This is drawn by Gary Grace. Beautiful card, lovely art, really lovely art. Next card I got, this classic guy with his hat. Prodigal Sorcerer, two and a blue. Tap, deals one damage to a creature or player. Just start plinging some guys, got a little mole on his face, interesting beard, he shaves right down the middle of his chin. Large nose, uh, blue background, uh, purple hat. Yep, he'll do some damage to you. By Douglas Shelter, a one one. Lovely. Next card I got, Classic Land Destruction, Stone Rain, 2 and a red, Destroy Target Land, Sorcery by John Matson. Got this castle being bombarded by meteors or comets. I'm not sure what it is, uh, how you classify meteors or comets, I don't remember. But you can just see the place is being broken and turned to rubble, destroying the land. Then the last card I got is a gaseous form, 2 and a blue, Enchantment Creature, or Enchant Creature. Enchant Creature deals no combat damage, prevent all damage that would be dealt to Enchanted Creature. So it deals no common damage, but it can prevent all damage dealt to it. So use it as a blocker, and it will absorb whatever damage is put at it. Looks like this energy is just covering this magical guy. Um, not sure what. Looks like water or smoke. 
and uh, he's being protected by Gassy's form. Interesting artist signature up there by Roger Raup. I think that's an R. Interesting R with a nice little swirl in it. And Face Tracker's picking up on him. Very nice purples. Almost like a snakeskin uh, scarf on him. Very cool. And the gas is all around him. Awesome little pack. Really like the art on this. Not too many blue cards that I can think of that destroy creatures. This is one of them. So much fun. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this stuff. I've been having a lot of fun opening up some older packs. Really taking me uh, back to when I was younger. I hope it does the same for you. I hope it shows you some cards you never knew existed or never heard about. And so much fun to open this up and check it out and show you all what's inside these older packs. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day and keep on keeping on.